Hello, welcome to a new section of this course, Figure Layout and Annotations. In this section, we will first learn to adjust the layout, add subplots and adjust margins. Then we will move ahead to draw inset plots, add text annotations, graphical annotations and image annotations. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with adjusting the layout. In this video, we will learn to adjust the size of the figure and also see how to adjust spines. Figure layout, including the size and location of plots, directs the focus of our readers. A figure with good layout facilitates data presentation in a logical flow. It is thus important to familiarise ourselves with layout settings when plotting. Let's learn how to assign proper sizes, positions and spacing to our plots. So, we'll first start with adjusting the size of the figure. Here, we need to call our matplotlib inline function so the plots are embedded inside the cells. Depending on where you want to put your figure, you may want to adjust the size and layout. Instead of manually stretching your image output afterward, which takes extra effort and can distort the text. Here is an example of setting the figure size and aspect. This code plots a figure for the pie chart. You can set the height and width directly by calling pyplot.figure function, where we set the size with the fig size method, as we did in this line of code. The figure module contains all the plot elements. The fig size setting controls the overall size in inches and aspect ratio of the figure. This is also useful when we want to show a larger plot directly in a notebook without having to export it in a high resolution image. Here we set equal aspect with this line to keep the pie chart a circle instead of a compressed ellipse. After importing matplotlib.pyplot as plt, we prepare the data. This data is taken from www.aauw.org this contains median annual earnings ratio for full-time, year-round workers in US, by gender for the year 2015. Next, we set the colours and labels. After this, we use the plt.figure function. Here, patches, texts and autotexts control the sectors, data labels and value labels respectively. Following that, we set the title and the font size. Format the test labels and the value labels. Finally, we display the plot. Also, you can use this line of code to save the figure. We have included it as a comment as we want to save the running time. Now, let's click on Run. You can now observe the pie chart. Superb! So, you can see the male and the female ratio here. Alternatively, for cases where only the aspect matters and not the size, you can use axe.set underscore aspect of 1 to set equal aspect after defining the axes. Let's step ahead to adjust spines. Matplotlib figures have four spines, which enclose the plot data area by default. We may prefer to style or remove them to suit different purposes. Sometimes we would like to follow certain conventions. For instance, it is common for biologists to publish their western blot or another analysis result in black and white with thick lines and two spines only. While the trend is slowly changing, this style is still adopted by many journal papers. Meanwhile, users such as news editors and marketing speakers may also find it too boring to have black lines surrounding their graphics. Let's jump in and learn how to adjust or remove spines. Spine properties can be set by calling different functions under set line width and set edge color under axis spines. To remove unnecessary spines, let's say the right spine, we can use axis spines.set visible function with a boolean value. Here is a social neuroscience article published in the Nature Journal in 2017. 
The study reported that the UBE3A gene and seizures synergize to affect sociability. You can browse it at this website. To illustrate the spine styling, we adopted the published source data to make a figure in the paper with adaptations. Let's go to the Jupyter Notebook and see the next example. So, here's the code we are going to use for adjusting the spines. The spine properties can be set by calling different functions as set line width and set visible under the axe.spines. So, to remove unnecessary spines, we use this line of code. After the essential imports, we prepare the data from figure. Next, we fill the zeros to draw positive bars only. Set the figure, widths and locations of bar and draw the bar chart. This set of code formats the spines. Then we format axes and add a legend. Finally, we display the plot with plt.show. Now let's click on Run. You can observe how the spines are adjusted. In this video, we learned to adjust the size of figure and spines.